The Great American Reset. Every set entailed selling everything, buying an RV, and traveling the country. Now, the reset we're going to talk about today is a little bit different. As we travel around the country, we see gas stations and supermarkets and even whole towns that are completely abandoned or have closed down because of the financial situation. Today's reset is a young couple, Kyle and Lindy, that truly are making a difference at Faith Grazing Farm. The American dream has been to have the white picket fence, but here on this farm, this is a very different kind of white picket fence. And this fence is incredible. It surrounds this almost 100 acre property. It, it's just like nothing I've ever seen. It is a harvest host, and it is located in Bonacqua, Tennessee, which is just outside of Nashville. And the host here, Kyle and Lindy, they are just salt of the earth people. It's lame to say you meet on Instagram. So our first date was we ran into each other. I said, meet me at the Publix in the produce <laughs> section at three o'clock. So and natural. So we ran into each other by the watermelons at the Publix. Oh, fancy yeah. here. Yeah. Thankfully the cabin's already built, so we just gotta get transported Absolutely. here once there's enough dry days. So once that gets moved out, we're gonna build a stage on the side of it. And uh, we would love to have worship, outdoor worship, and bring the community in. And the cool thing about where we're located is it's on a hill. So you can hear the worship music across the street. The sound travels really well. So we would love to. There's a verse that's like, be a city on the hill. Is that Matthew 5.14? Yeah, we're the getting wedding married day, 5.14. 5 for music a second. And so he understands that. There's a precedent for that, the label. And that's kind of what we want to do here is focus on ministry at the Cowboy Church and in this community. And uh, yeah, reaching out to the kids and the people here and having trail rides and just yeah. enjoying each other. So yeah. We were so excited to be staying on the farm on a day where three horse trailers like this pulled in. And to be able to go horseback riding, it's been 20 years. When you stay on the farm, if it's a day that they have horses there, you could go horseback riding. I'll tell you what, seeing you up on that horse was just a thrill for me, but your horse did not like to go on the gravel. No, she didn't, but she was so well trained and it was just such a great experience. Now for me, the best part of this farm was these dogs. These dogs are outside dogs and they just really took to us. We had our electric bikes that we were riding all over the farm and you could see the dogs followed us. What a fun time. Now at this particular point, I took this ride in the morning and they kind of showed me where to go. They took me to this road and they took me right down to the lake. Just an experience you just don't get every day. We've been talking a little bit about, about a reset. Uh huh. You know, Patty's and my reset is we sold everything, got an RV, and we go and produce videos like this. What about this as a reset for you guys? Tell me how this is your reset. Well, it's, you know, being, uh, being in the fire service and being a paramedic, Obviously, we're there to help and want to help people. And this just kind of uh, finally God got a hold of me and said, this is the real help that they need. This is God's country. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Look, look what we have around us. Oh, yeah. Can you tell me the story of how this came to be? Well, we, uh, I got hurt uh, as a retired fireman, so I got hurt on a fire and uh, kids are all moved away and mama wanted to get closer to one of her kids so uh, this made the best sense to move down to Tennessee and we started looking for a place and uh, well nothing was coming available and we spent hours and hours driving around and I just so happened on this place and it seemed like it was just like overgrown um, but there's there was people farming here uh, these organic farmers come to find out. Right, come on, baby. Come and, on. uh, come on. So, come on. uh, we just, uh, drove by, didn't know where it was at, didn't know where it was at, and then one, I came up here for a month and stayed in an RV, kept looking, couldn't find anything, and happened upon this place again, and thought, well, you know, I'm gonna leave him a note. <laughs> Nobody was home, and a couple days later, I get a phone call from them and said, they were looking for a sign 
because they was wanting to sell it, but they wanted to sell it to the right person and they wanted a sign. And I guess that was the sign they was looking for and that's how it all started. Here we are on a Sunday afternoon and there's maybe 10 of your friends and neighbors and five, seven horses out here. Is this, is this what it's like every week after church? Well, this is what, this was part of the vision. We wanted to minister to people and just have a place where they can come out, disengage from the busyness of life and get back to what's going on. Especially, we had no idea that this would be going on after COVID. This is right. what life is all about right here. This is the essence of living your life every day and enjoying the journey, not just the destination. I've always wanted a greenhouse and I know right now there's not much here. What is your vision for what you love? If you could have anything, what would you love to be growing here? Yeah, so the vision here is to have all the weeds clear, obviously, and then uh, start growing a lot of different vegetables and some fruit. So we would love to have different spinaches growing and basil, because one of our friends um, actually owns a pizza place that we were able to give him some basil last year. But um, different fruits and vegetables for the community, ideally, is the vision. One here is uh, what's rotational grazing. A lot of stuff I got from from Greg Judy in Missouri and Joel Salatin in Virginia and just uh, you want to, in the wild, you know, when you think of the herds of bison and stuff, there's the three M's. They mob, they mow, and then they move, right? And we've, we've kind of taken that away from them doing continuous grazing because they're just all over the place all the time. But when you squeeze them down into a tighter pasture, you get that, that herd mob, which Let's is... Let's go, Mountaineers! It just amazes me how when you call these cattle, they just come to you and they kind of go wherever you want. Now, when I first saw the cows and we were out in the pasture with them, I was a little intimidated. They are very big with long, sharp horns, but they are so sweet and so gentle. You know, even the bull was really, really gentle, but here is the mama. And the mama, this is maybe 10 minutes before she had her baby, but she wanted to check out who were these people with these cameras out there. And, you know, she came right up to us. Yes, yes. And there she is in labor giving birth. And here we will see the baby being born. What an experience like I've never had. And, you know, here the baby just got born. And, and right away she turns around and is tending to the baby, making sure everything okay. And this is just such a wonderful moment where the big sister comes over and helps out. Yes, now this is a boy. It's a baby boy. And it really is a special kind of community of animals that you don't really think about. Yeah, and, and you know, having the experience, it's, it's why we do what we do. Having an experience to be able to watch this happen and to be able to film it. Yes, now you did sit there for a couple hours waiting for her to give birth. And this was a day we were due to leave, but boy, was it worth it. I'll tell you what, it, it really was spending the extra time. But you know, all of these cows, they came over, they wanted to know what was going on. And they just came over and checked it out. And oh, what a beautiful yes. moment this is. This is Lindy making a connection with the cattle. And here's Kyle, and he's gonna go up and just rub this cattle's head. Now remember, you've gotta hold on to the horns he taught us, because if they go to shake off those flies, they will hit you. I'll tell you, he really takes care of these cattle, and they, they love him. I mean, they come up to him, and um, I just really feel like after a while, you know, being in the pasture like that, you start a relationship with the cows. Now here are bird houses that they have around the property. And this is just really cool because the swallows, the birds that come to these bird houses will help with the flies. Now this is one of my favorite parts of the day. Uh, a real live cowboy actually taught me how to lasso and we were practicing on our cycle electric bikes. Yes, of all things on the bikes, but this was a really exciting time for you. He wanted to use me as the guinea pig to lasso. That wasn't <laughs> happening. But so many exciting things that you could do being on a farm. I know. To learn something like this, and you know, I got it the very first time. I, I kind of skipped it off the ground, but it's still, you, you know, lassoed that. This farm is just incredible. Look at the vastness in all of these cattle. 
And so there were so many things we saw while on the farm. There was the greenhouse that I'm sure you could go help in. You could get some fruits and vegetables while you're there. Visit with the cow. Now, I don't know how close they're going to let people go. Ride on a, on a power bike or go Even for a, regular a hike bike. or a regular bike. Go for a hike. Take a leisure walk, watch the sunset, be by the pond, enjoy the dogs. I'm Dan Hunt with my incredible wife, Patty Hunt, saying have a great rest of today. And an even better day.